Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Fish and whistle, whistle and fish. Eat everything that they put on your dish. And when we get through, we'll make a big wish that we we'll never have to do this. And uh, let me go ahead and show you. Do you want to see where the uh, flathead's sure, going to be caught? Uh, yeah, like I said, this is today. This is all about me knowing that you've had success over here. And like I say, after a couple of frustrating experiences, I just haven't bothered to come back because you know why? Why spend you know bucks to to come be frustrated because you can't catch what you're after you know right so now this is where you're gonna your markers actually will come in handy here because um there is a there's a couple of actually i think there's just one hole but i use the marker to mark the hole mm -hmm. there is a hole right out of here and it's not huge so you kind of need to put the marker there to help you know determine where it's located so to set a marker so so all right press the map yeah i'm i'm at map i bet you i'm pressing the wrong plus and that's what's going on is i've been trying to click the plus that's next to the word marking at the no, bottom no, left of the screen no. the one that's and the, i bet you the wrong over on the uh lower right is what you need to press okay and you press that and it says set the mark for the last fish if you say cancel it'll just let you place a mark anywhere right and what you can do is put it right where that hole is. And that's what you need to do, because that's where you're going to find them. Mm -hmm. And this location, at night, you're going to catch uh, flatheads. And you might get a trophy and unique, but like I told you earlier, if you come in here the start of a day and it's raining, your ass needs to come right over here. <laughs> immediately because if you want to get a unique really easily this is where you're going to catch it and it's going to you're going to catch it when it's raining it's kind of like the thing when you go to LaCroix and it's raining you go mm -hmm. after you yep. go after the walleye yeah, immediately same, go after the walleyes yep. same thing with these guys so um and i mean anything that you think that they i mean they will go for the shiners they'll go for the cut large cut bait they'll go for uh you know the same typical things they normally go for uh seems like the large cut bait is the most favorite and the um, shiners they will go for those more than anything else but you know a lot of times uh, you'll have these missions and things that we've done over time like i've got like things from halloween events they'll go for those as well so right, you, you can still use those as well. Um, well, and and out here along this channel, with that same spinner set up in a stop and go, I'm expecting nothing but spotted bass. And so far, that's only right, true. Right. But yeah. see, oh, also duck muscle meat, they'll go for that. Frogs, mm -hmm. they'll go for those. Uh, the mole cricket larva is real popular with the yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. So if you've got those, I don't know what you have, and I would try to go at least as far as your hooks, four ot or bigger. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. This is this is spotted bass after spotted bass, just just like I would expect out here. So what's interesting is we're going to all the same spots and we're fishing all the same spots. The only difference is I did not come fish this here for catfish. I I was trying. Uh, a couple of other locations so well there's no way you would have known without knowing where the hole was yeah and the hole's not huge it's pretty small and um wait a minute let me make sure that i now i'm using a float rod right now but i would use a bottom rod too a lot of times you could set up like a your rod mm -hmm. pod which i think i've got one with two at least here let me see here yeah i think i've got a triple rod holder but I would set up at least, you know, a couple of rods and I would use like mole cricket larva or large cup. I'd mix it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, because 
sometimes you you know it, I don't like to use the same bait right large minnows medium cut bait uh, even shrimps they'll go for oh yeah yeah I'm, I'm definitely curious to do some fishing here with the gulf shrimp yeah now, this one I've got a shiner on so I'm going to throw it out there yeah, because just in that hole, I think... Let me see how deep it goes. Because now... Oh, I got a little... Whoa! Okay, got a snag there. I think it said 10... 10... Uh, not, I'm not sure if it's 10 meters or 10 feet. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't get a good look at it. Let me go ahead and put that down first. All right, I already got a bite, and I think I've got a catfish. So this is off the duck muscle meat, just to let you know. Yeah, yeah, you got a good fish there. I've seen him, seen him under the surface. He's got, see, I, I, re, that, that strawberry nymph has been an incredible producer um, on uh, the river, and I'm really curious to try it here but see yeah got here. Uh, that's fantastic well, i really appreciate you taking the time to just you no, know no i don't mind at all not at all i wonder how deep the water is right there i think it's like i think it's like 10 feet maybe yeah well when rod out there um when it sinks just as it sinks it'll actually give you a, a depth pop-up just, yes. just above your, your lure indicator. So if you'd keep an eye on that this time when you cast, I'd just be curious to know what the depth is so I can adjust my, my float appropriately. Hold on a second. That, that was a poor cast. Because that's what I usually do is I'll throw the bottom rod out and get the depth reading. I'll bring it in and then I'll, you know, set my gear accordingly. Well, shoot. I keep... Last <laughs> time I, I didn't... Really get a good cast on it. Hold on. There we go. Let's try that. That's better. Okay. 8.2 feet. 8.2. Right. I think it, the deepest it might be 10 feet. Is It varies a little bit. But around yeah. just around it, it's around you know, like 2 or 3 feet. So that'll tell you how deep that hole is compared uh, to their surroundings. Do an adjustment to my rig here. So they're just kind of sitting in that hole, you know, <laughs> waiting around. Set her to about 84. Get this right down on the bottom. Gonna try Gulf Shrimp on a 5 aught. They should like that. Yeah, right. I figure do something different than what you're doing, you know, so that that people got a chance to see what different, different things do. Well, I've got a float rod I think I out here. I probably should take my drag down just a little bit for the initial hit, because otherwise I'm going to be losing losing terminal tackle. I've got but, a float rod out with some mole cricket larvae. They love those too. Yeah, you got some action on one of your lines there. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah. This is off of... That duck muscle meat is really popular with these guys. Yes, yes it is. Now, uh, hitting level 35 unlocks the clam meat, um, the, yeah. the clams. And on, on uh, uh, Blue Crab last night, I was, I was catching unique uh, gaff top sail and uh, lots and lots of red drum and black drum. Uh, the, the permit were, were being pretty, pretty snazzy about things. Might have to try that here. I think I should. Hey, your other line's going off now. Of course, You're running it is. around out there. Yep. I see it. Damn it! <laughs> I might have to put this down and go ahead and hook that in real quick. He didn't go yep. anywhere. Okay, let me see if I can get him, man. This is off the mole cricket larva. Yep, you got it. I think you got another nice cat out there. Damn. Okay, this. 
Jesus, this is a big fish. <laughs> yeah, they they don't seem to be particularly interested in the Gulf shrimp, and that really surprises me considering that Gulf shrimp comes yeah, from the Gulf. I would think they would be. <laughs> and we're we're basically at you know, in the brackish waters of the of the Gulf. There you go. Very nice. Yeah, I they don't they don't seem to have any interest in the Gulf shrimp at all, and that is a, a tremendous surprise. Well, at least you found it out. I mean, you know. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Because they're is. they're clearly there, and and so if they uh, if they had the interest, I think I'll throw a crawdad on there. Oh, they'll they'll you'll, they'll go for that big time. Uh, I have occasionally. I will tell you, I have occasionally got an alligator gar here, but mm, just occasionally. This is yep. not. Well, that's yeah. why. That's why I figured the crawdad was a nice choice. We might tie into a nice gar. Uh, the gar spot is. I'll, uh, I'll show you where that is. But where I've caught them anyway, I don't know if there's other places or not. I'm mean, sure there are, but it's where I have caught them. Damn, this is a big one, guys. <laughs> this is really big. There I'm goes our nighttime transition, so the catfish fishing should get even better. Yeah, pretty good. There we go. Got some action on that crawdad. Yeah, I'm really surprised they don't have an interest in the Gulf shrimp. That's you'd think they would. Uh, yep, that's a surprise. Unique flathead. Wow, dude. Nice Damn. catch. Nice. Twenty-two gold, man. Twenty-two gold. I'm gonna have to get a picture nice, with this nice. guy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a picture with him. Yeah, he's he's big. Fifty-five. Yeah, I got a or sixty-three pounds. Sixty-three. Pounds. I got a fiddling fish. There he goes. Let's see what we got here. Damn, we've done pretty good tonight. My yep, spots trophy have, channel cat. My spots have held true. You can get the unique ones here too, by the way. Yep. Well. Uh, that hole is really, really a good hole. That's all I can say. Yeah. So there's channel and flathead out in this area. Yeah. Yeah. Because I just picked up a channel and, and you were you were picking up flathead. But yeah, I I didn't think to try the the M for map thing out here because you know usually I'm I'm in the boat and I'm using the the depth finder. Yeah, the, the map so, thing is real. I mean, if you, for being a catfishing type person, <laughs> I want to know where the holes are, you know? Right. And that right. has been key for me to find. Well, you know, and the I got to say honestly, the 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 markers and and the map utility, I tend to forget they even exist because of course I tend to fish in the game the way I fish in real life. Yeah. And you know, um, there's there's certainly some great tech out there where you can cast a line out with with a sensor on it and and get a bottom read from shore. But you know, of course, we don't have that in in. And my my take on it has always been fishing the game like I fish in real life. So. Oh yeah. Well, you know. Now this is, like I said though, you come here on a rainy morning, I've actually one time pulled in three in one rainy two hour period, uniques, yeah. out of that same spot. Well, so, this, you know, every everything else was pretty much as I figured, but this was the thing I really needed your insight on because you're so much more into the catfish fishing than I am. And, uh, you know, coming here to fish, other than the chain pickerel, the catfish are really the only species that interest me. I can go catch, um, you know, the other species in a myriad of other locations where there's a lot more interesting things for me to fish uh, on personal interest fishing-wise. And, uh, of course, I'm primary allure fisherman. You know, I mean, I'm perfectly happy to throw a float out there, but like, like I've always said, I, I feel like... Fishing with the float is camping. Fishing with the lure is hunting. And I'm a hunter, not a camper, you know? I get you. Well, let me... So, so you, your you, your insight 
when it comes to the cats. That's really what I needed today. The other stuff is pretty much as I figured. Um, Let me the, take you to another place here if you got time. Sure. sure. All Let right. me bring my rig in. Let me um, get to the map. Because the place we're going to need to go next is down south. I don't know if you fish there too much or not. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I gave down south a try and I gave swampy open space a try uh, shooting for, for cats and gars. Yeah, Gar. This is the Gar location. Yeah, yeah. This is and this is where I came and 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 hunted Gar. Had had pretty good success with with the Gar. Now you can do it float fishing. <coughs> you can do it lure fishing. Since you are a lure fisher, mm -hmm. I would suggest grabbing your three foot um, crankbait. And if you're going to fish for them, come way over here. As far over here as you can. And I wish there was a way to mark this for you. Let me see. Yeah, you here. can you can share markers. But okay, how do you do that? Um, um open now it's strange that I wouldn't Yeah, it is strange. Not know how to set a marker. But yeah, if you um basically you you click on, on your marker and when the little pop up comes up one of the options will be share markers. Okay, hold on. Let me share this with you then once I find it on here. Okay, that's it. All right. Uh, there it is. Let's see. That, that should make it possible for me to see your, your marker out there. Okay. I'm going to share that one. Okay. You get it? Uh, you have shared a marker with me, but I don't see a physical marker out on the water so maybe I need to you have to I think you have to select it or something you have to accept it or something like that I don't know well Where if you see that tall tree to the left mm -hmm. if you go yeah um there's a there's a hole there's a very deep hole yeah out there um that i that i uh spotted on the map and uh was trying was trying cats out there well, i think me, like yep yeah. let me show you here real quick this is where i caught my last unique not unique but uh, last alligator gar i'll uh, use my flow rod for this try to get it close as i can Right there is where I got my last alligator gar. And I caught it with a um, shiner. Gotcha. At 23 inches. So really <sighs> very shallow, very, very small lead. Yeah, I, I came over here uh, and I was uh, using a shallowest glow crank and had real good luck with the guard down here. Yeah, and I've caught him with the glow crank. I've caught him, uh, one time I caught it with a gl uh, glow shad. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. I think it was a three or four inch shad, I'm not sure. But, yeah, well, I've been I've been really curious to uh, to give them uh, uh, to give the catfish a try here with a uh, Texas rig nymph. I you know, working it, you know, cast past the hole, work it down into the hole, and work it back out again the way the way I would in real life. You know. Well, there is a hole out there, but what I've caught out there was uh, drum. Caught a lot of drum out there. Yeah. And the hole I'm talking about is, see if I can show you here. Yeah, uh, my float 
sitting sitting right in the the biggest hole out there currently. Well, there's another one right over here. You see where my float is? Yep. It's right out there. I've caught drum right there. And um I'm trying to remember what I caught it with the last time. Let me check my map here. I've caught a unique couple of unique out of there, as a matter of fact. Um Hmm. Look at the wrong map there. Uh, that was a trophy. I caught it with a just a one third ounce casting spoon with a red tip. Yep. Yep. They really love those. They are big on it. And over to the left, there's another good spot. If you just use, let me see, what did I use last time? I think it was the same casting spoon. I'm almost certain of it. Yep, same casting spoon. Caught a trophy white bass. Nice. Yeah. I don't know about nighttime, though, so I can't tell yep. you about nighttime. I think it was daytime I caught them. But yeah, I don't, I don't have any of my three-foot cranks with me. Uh, I think the shallowest I've got with me currently is a eight-foot three-aught. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be a little tricky to work with. So float fishing for these guys might be better if you've yeah. got, because um, I'm sure there's, you know, they go for any kind of cut bait, any kind of shiner, the large minnows. Absolutely. All that they'll go for. Yep. Well, the catfish, you know. I haven't caught them over here. I, I can tell you where I've gotten them, though. The, even more so than where I've, I was just showing you, is you can get the blue cats at this location. Yeah. Um, that's at swampy open space. Yeah, see, that's that's where I went and, and spent a lot of time fishing cats and just had absolutely no luck. Really? Um, the, the spot, yeah, the spot we, we just came from, um, you know, that that was absolutely new to me but uh over there at swampy open space it just screams catfish well, and i had should be here yeah yeah if, yeah if because i mean there's with... there's like five holes yeah like all in an arc over there and well if that's you, if you come over here i'll show you where they are but um I don't know if you can get over here or not, but yeah. we're, uh, we could actually advance time, too, because even though we're at a small peak, there's a bigger peak at 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, um, that's, that's why I was so frustrated, because this spot right here just shrieks catfish. Okay, let, and me, sh let me show you where they are. This The hole to my right... That is where I have caught the uh, the flatheads. You might get an mm -hmm. occasional blue cap, but very rarely. But wait a minute, that's not my flow rod. That's my frog popper. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I wish I could share these markers with you. Let me try that again because I got a couple of them that are good. Uh, I'm gonna try to share this with you. And there's another one I've got here. This next one, that's where the blue cats can be caught. And this one, freshwater drum and blue cats. And this next one, you will get a lot of uh, freshwater drum and red-eared sunfish. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cast out to the spots that I was trying them at. Um, so. Make sure you have it as deep as it'll go. Yep. Um, four odds or better. That yeah, duck missed, bustle V. That duck it's been a while v. since I've been here, so I, I must have missed the hole. But um, 
let me go ahead and try to get a cup let me put my rod pod down I'll see if I can get the blue cats set up as well too um, yeah I know I, I found I found a, a hole I was aiming aiming right between two of the trees out there and uh, there was a hole out there and then I found a hole off to the right yeah right it's real close to that tree yeah yeah kind of kind of out out a bit from the lilies yeah you would wouldn't think there'd be a hole there because it's kind of close to shore right yeah right there so so this time this time i actually hit that one yeah that's a uh usually at night you'll get a lot of big channel cats and occasionally a unique channel yep yeah so casting around out there i had i low basically i set my my depth to to like eight feet and then just cast around until i found a couple of holes so like i say i never think about using the the utility the the tablet or map or whatever you want to call it um and fish it at at eight feet and then uh in this right hand hole where i cast out to that that makes it the bait just rest on the bottom yeah I'm going to try to hit both of these holes, see what I can get, and then float fish the one on the right. This is where I've got the flatheads most often. Yeah, yeah, so there's there's a trophy channel. That's, that is so weird that I'm fishing the same spots that I was fishing previously. And at the same kind of times and everything, and tonight I'm catching fish and I mean three three trips here, fishing is, during during the indicated peaks and everything, yeah. fishing with the same setup. I mean, same hook size, same leader, same bait, same everything. And tonight I'm getting results. I almost wonder if something in my map was bugged. That's and, starting to uh, sound like it because it you know coming worked. coming in. Because I've never done it like a, a, a friends only room here or anything, you know. It's just always been a, a a private room when I come in, and I'm wondering if my if I had something bugged in my map because to, today here with you, I'm getting all the results that I completely expected in all the places and combinations that normally I would use. Yeah, and I'm I'm truly I'm truly starting to wonder if that's what it was. Yeah, cause because pretty, either either my map was bugged or or you've you've broken the voodoo curse one or the other i don't know because it's usually pretty consistent i mean it's usually pretty much like this well they say that that darkness cannot stand up to a good heart so you, you may <laughs> you may have you may have have broken the grip you may have to Go back, visit that old woman, and laugh at her. Of course, then she'll just put the curse on me again, and I'll be in the same shape. Really? <laughs> oh, now, this guy's good. got a little more oomph to him. I may actually have to bring my... Bring... bring yeah, yeah, this guy's going to give me a bit of a fight. I actually have to get my drag up to, to the orange zone. But I think I think that's oh, potentially I think that's potentially what I what I had going on because um, coming here with you today, I'm getting the kind of results that I would have expected to see. We we've gone to the same places that I've gone to, use the same techniques that I've used. Yeah. Um, I haven't tried the the evening fishing for for the bass, you know, because like I say, bass really isn't my thing, but um, in terms of catfish and, and gar, um, you know, we're, we're doing stuff in the locations that I've already tried with the same bait, same everything. So oh, yeah. I think that there's a possibility that my map was bugged for some reason. But yeah, this, this guy's got a little, 
a little fighting him. Nice 18, almost 19 pound flathead for Hawkeye there. Yep. But yeah, the the last the last catfish spot we were at, that one was new for me. That that I did not find on my own. So that's deeply deeply appreciated. You're welcome. But over here, I had I had been here and just worked the ever loving hell out of this. In fact, I spent an entire 24 hour period, you know, in game here in this location, just whooping the tar out of it and never caught a single catfish. Uh, yeah, that's a, a good looking fellow pound, there. He's a 50 pound trophy. Very nice. nice. That's what I've been expecting. This is this is the kind of result that I was just so sure should come out of this area. Now you see where I'm at right now with my float rod? That is the prime blue cat location here. That is where I Yeah, see so you're you're in that you're in that third hole out there. Yeah. Um because like I say, casting around I found three holes out there. The basically the the hole that I'm currently fishing, one that's to the left of it but quite a ways out there, and then the one where your float is currently. Yeah. Those are the three holes I had found out there. Now, when I opened up the map utility, I see there's actually five holes out there, so there was two of them I hadn't located. Yeah, there, some of them are a little harder to get to. Yep. I've got a but, bite right now going on. Let's see what the heck. Well, I think I, think I had a, a bugged map, um, and I think that, that for whatever reason, coming in and fishing with you has gotten past that, that bug because... I'll say it again, this is this is the kind of results. I mean precisely right now what I did previously, same depth, same hook size, same bait, same location, same rod, same line, same everything. The only difference is you. <laughs> that so that's that's what I'm saying. Either my map was bugged or you broke the curse, one or the other. There's a trophy channel. Yep, very nice. Yeah, we will, uh, I think you're going to be, you have caught the Quanchkin bug now. Come on. You know you want it. You know where you want it. There you go. That's a good boy. I'm thinking it's a channel. It's not big enough. Not quite yeah. big enough. I think I might be set too deep for out there either that or I missed the spot. I think what I'll do is I'll throw a six odd hook on there and I probably won't get the channels as much. Yeah, I think I gotta bring it up from eight feet to about seven feet. I think I'm running just a touch too deep. 